Yes, so what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Check it out. Patch 5, NBA 2K18, Patch 5, Notes. All right, we're just going to go through it, man. Comprehensive going over, uh, coming soon to whatever, whatever. whatever. Uh, the patch is about 5 gigs, and I'm downloading it right now on my PlayStation 4. So uh, that should really take a uh, little bit of no time. I got a 1,000 up and a 1,000 down. I'll put it in rest mode, and uh, I'll put it in rest mode. By that time, it'll be done. But anyway, let's just get right to it. Money on the flow. Hey, let's get straight to it, man. All right, so native resolution is 60 FPS support added. Oh, my God. Okay, this is just the ordinary stuff, man. Play Player action photos uh, have been updated. No, yeah, custom created shoes, much higher resolution. Custom created shoes now have much higher resolution. Can we get them? Can we put them on? That was the real issue. We didn't care about the other stuff. We just want to know, can we put them on? I mean, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? All right, but whatever, man. Um, authenticity improvements for the Clippers and, and authenticity improvements have been made uh, to the 070. Okay, you, they, they fixed uniforms, cool. Uh, fixed Xbox One uh, where the game DVR was not working for some users. Hey, get an Elgato, man. Hey, uh, improve the audio pops reported by Switch users. People play 2K on the Switch? I'm about to check that out. Fix an issue. Hey, park on the Switch probably lit, too. Hey, fix an issue with, uh, with the Switch, the armpit hair. Armpit hair? What? They fixed arm, fixed an issue on the Switch where armpit hair was showing as white gray, white slash gray on players that, what? They fixed arm, I'm done. Okay, gameplay. Fix an issue where coach's clipboard would, would uh, I don't care about coach's clipboard. Fix an issue that allowed uh, players to break out of dunk and re-jump into the other into another dunk. Okay, that was the glitch that Twante was talking about where they would go like they were going to dunk and then they'll come back down and then they'll just go back up and dunk it again. So, okay, so they fixed that glitch. Two two patches, it took two patches to fix that glitch. Adjusted foul, uh, adjusted shooting foul frequency, especially for well positioned and high rated blockers. Good, because I got sick of being in the paint, waiting on somebody to come through like a dumbass. And when they went up with the, uh, they, they go up with the rock and uh, I get the foul and I'm already in position. I hated that. So, so you know, that was pretty trash. Y'all hold on one second. I gotta put my phone on the charger real quick. That was pretty trash. So that's something that has been fixed, thankfully. All right, hold on, hold on one second. Let me get my phone right. All right, so that's something that has, that is something that has thankfully been fixed. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, fix, fix several layups that would, that would tend to hit the bottom of the backboards when performed by tall players. <laughs> Y'all said it was, it was fixed last time and it wouldn't happen anymore. But dog, y'all don't know how many possessions I have blown because I'm trying to do a reverse layup and it, the ball every time without equivocation would hit the backboard if I went at a certain angle. You try to drive pure baseline, you're gonna hit the backboard if you're a tall, if you're a big player. It was just gonna happen. So now I can abuse this again. Yes. All right, so uh, fix an issue where, where the shot clock on broadcast scoreboard when small amount of time reach zero still hold up where there would still be a very small amount of time after yes okay so they fixed it they fixed the uh the shot clock because we're like yo people are raising up for the shot with no time left how is that happening great okay so that's fixed let me see all the, um all the all of the player icons should now be visible when reviewing when when reviewing the three two song defensive set during the timeout uh okay um, what they should do is let the person know where their zone is or let you assign a person a zone. Or when your computer or your point guard lags out, can we can we assign the computer to the zone, stay in the zone, and actually play defense? I don't know. Okay, my career. Let me see. The user suggested lineup would no longer revert to revert after reaching 90 overall and setting in uh, you know my minutes. Okay, whatever. Uh that's the ML Shepherd. Um uh, fix. Fix an issue where VC balance shown 
at the hey brutal sim got something done with a with a uh with a vc balance shown at the end the games wasn't displaying the correct value so brute did a video on that and it definitely was it was showing you the incorrect value so that was cool um uh, fix the hang that would occur when attempting to leave my court uh closet i, I never experienced that i mean that's that's really nothing this is in my career addressed an issue where the user was unable to equip the skateboard. Hey, you can get the skateboard now. 92 is all over the world. Rejoice, baby. Uh, the My Player headband will now properly colorize along with his teammates. Hey, that's cool. Uh, fix the case where the user would, would be unable to enter a team practice when they had previously decided to switch uh, to a different shoe company after, after shooting their own shoe commercial okay i never ran into that but i guess i never did the shoe commercial either uh fixed a rare hang where the where the where the game would fail where the game would fail to advance at the conclusion of the three-point contest i don't even play my career like that i definitely never played the three-point contest so okay cool that's why it's a rare hang i guess the my player headphones should no longer unequip unexpected uh, unexpectedly when performing uh, various actions in the neighborhood. That never really happened to me, but I wasn't worried about that anyway. Uh, the player's accessories will no longer be seen unequipped during post-game uh, interviews. I guess they don't take off headbands. I mean, don't LeBron take off the headband and show that hairline? I guess. Fix an issue where an incorrect defensive field goal percentage would occasionally be shown during halftime, causing your head coach to give inaccurate advice. Okay, who... Who paid attention to the head coach's advice anyway? Uh, okay. Uh, addressed a addressed a case where the game could hang after the opposing team wins the conference championship. Now I think that did happen to me one time. Um, I lost I lost in the conference championship uh, to the Houston Rockets and it hung forever. I had to quit the game. Fixed the number of surrounds of, of surrounding. The, uh, the starting and yeah, uh, my court involving human. Yeah, we don't care about that. The neighborhood corrected an issue where Brian stopped texting the user regarding the picking up of earned endorsement checks. I mean, I got all my endorsement checks. I heard a, peop a couple people said that Brian had money for him and they couldn't pick it up. So, th so that's good that they fixed that. Uh, users of the Switch version of the game can now join other friends in the neighborhood by using the friends app. Hey, Y'all haven't been able to play together on the Switch? I mean, there were 10 people on the Switch anyway, so I mean, I, I could understand that why it wasn't a priority, but it was improvements to the t-shirt voting interface as well as the How about y'all give us the money from the t-shirt, 2K? If I make a fire t-shirt, why can't I get the money? Why for y'all gotta get the money? But hey, it is what it is. Fix the bug where some users weren't able to complete the Gatorade endorsement after winning five games on the playground. That happened to me. I mean, it's still in there for me. Uh, it's still it's still stuck in there, so I, I can understand that. Fix an issue where the thumbnail would fail to appear if the if the user moves between the t-shirt store and, and we we don't care about that. Uh, I mean, t-shirt store and t-shirt voting page too quickly. Okay, fix an issue where the 2K cam would fail to flip in playground games when previously playing on King of the Court game. I, that never happened to me, but okay. Uh, stability and performance. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do. Nobody care about Mountain Dew. We just going in there to play one game and get the boost and get out of there and, and see y'all advertising. Address an issue where the timer would, wouldn't would always count down as expected during the Dew 3X event. Okay, whatever. Uh, lineup improvements during the Ruffles uh, four, point, four point games, aka Sharpshooter Central um, challenge games to ensure the similar positions guard each other where possible okay uh whatever uh fix the fix fix the case where some users were unable to join a friend's playground due to their name being flagged as inappropriate that is something that we've been waiting on for a minute because t mizzle could not join us because in instant burner was tagged as inappropriate i don't know why but it was so hey shout out to y'all for that man that's something that i actually actually i uh, was having an issue with a number of improvements to the uh, to the program and walk on team experience. Okay, the correct VC earnings and balance will now be shown at the end of pro. Are we gonna get more VC? Cause that little 300 VC we get at the end of that, maybe a thousand. That sucks. Uh, teams can now wear alternate jerseys in the program when the when they reach the elite. Hey, that's pretty good. Uh, I wish you could do the alternate jerseys after you saw what the other team was wearing. Cause I'm tired of people wearing black jerseys 
or, or dark gray jerseys and it's real close to black or it's like real close to what we're wearing sometimes. So, you know, that sucks, but hey, it is what it is. Users who file out of Pro-Am games are now able to spectate the remainder of the game. Hey, that's pretty cool. So after you file out, you can, you can, you can see the rest of the game. So that's cool. Fix an issue where users would, who had their commentary language set to Spanish would experience problems playing Pro-Am games. Okay, I mean, the end of the game stats stat overlay will now appear with the correct stats for the user file out, for users that file out okay whatever um and then the 2k card will now show the correct program and walk on stats okay that's cool my team who plays my team i don't but hey it is what it is and it's funny because i started off with my team but i really don't play it but hey fix an issue where the players where the players were being removed from online my team games for committing too many files when they had only committed a small handful. Okay, that's that's the, okay, I see what they're talking about. There used to be a glitch where you could where you could exploit that. You could just keep filing over and over and over and over, and it would kick you out of the game and you'd still get the VC for it. So that's what they really did. Um users can now apply can now apply a brand of shoes to historic okay, whatever. Setting up setting up your player lineup is now easier as player positions are now shown in the edit lineup interface. Okay, that's cool. The total point tally at the end of the my team game will now always display the correct amount. And shoe boost and added badges will no longer be incorrectly applied while in pick and pack and playoffs. Whatever, man. I, I don't care about that. My league and my GM, wait a minute. Where the parking and playground stuff at? Yo, where's the parking playground? Contested shots, contested shots. Left, right, contested shots. What is this? This is it. Not, so, 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 just nothing. So, just nothing for my part. And, 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 and the pro am stuff that they fixed, it wasn't even gameplay. We haven't fixed center standing in the paint holding their nuts and waiting and, and, and boxing out holding their nuts. We haven't fixed the fact that a center can be in great position. Well, I guess they did fix that because they said you'll get fewer fouls. So, we're going to test that out later on today. Y'all can watch the stream in a minute. My team, my GM, whatever. Uh, so contested shots and left, right, uh, they can't fix it because they have it. Uh, fix an issue that calls a uh, premier player to wait until the end of the free agent. No, ain't nobody don't care about that. And then turn to, to tune the quality of draft classes. Nobody cares. A number of improvements to the editing of contracts. Okay, fixed an issue where a valid advanced rotation the system whatever the uh, system proficiency and player training me okay whatever fixed an issue where the porch man nobody cares about any of that where is the stuff for playground i don't see nothing for the playground where that where that though so ladies and gentlemen once again another useless patch um, they said, like I said, the, the main thing, the only thing I really, really, really care about in here, uh, that just kind of get my blood, blood pumping and flowing is that they said you'll see fewer piles called, especially when you're in good defensive position, because there's just too many times when I'm in good defensive position, the dude comes into me and he's lowering his shoulder and I jump and they call the fire. So we're going to test that out in pro-am in a minute. Hopefully everything is good and, uh, and we'll be back to it, man. But, um. I guess we're gonna holler at y'all in a second, man. Uh, they say the skateboard, they say the skateboard works, but I got people in my chat right now telling me that the skateboard don't work for them. So we got to see what's going on. But um, y'all let me know if this is another useless patch or what. But I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! Be six out this mug.